Hi, welcome to Get In The Mix. My name's Adam, and today we're going to show you how to set up a tone arm on a DJ turntable. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is obviously attach your cartridge to the tone arm, screw it on, and then you are ready. So the next thing we need to do is adjust the height of the tone arm, which is done using this little gadget where the tone arm actually sits in its cradle. The reason for this is the tone arm needs to be at a completely parallel level to the record. The reason being for that is if the tone arm is sitting so it's too low and actually the cartridge is up, that means the needle is going to be like sort of this angle in the record. So as it goes round, it's going to be scraping into your records and, and doing all kinds of damage. On the flip of that, if it's too low, then the needle is going to be facing this way and then it's just going to be sort of scraping along. So it can affect not only the quality of the sound, it'll also affect how quickly both your stylus and your records wear, which obviously is, is not ideal. First thing to do is check the height you've got, which I've already deliberately messed up. And then you'd come down to the side, have a look. Now it's so out, I can tell that it's out, but you might need a tape measure or some kind of ruling device just to check. So I can tell that this one is too high. So bring the needle back to the cradle and we want to lower it. So we're going to come down, have another little check. So that looks closer, let's give it a measure. So it's three and a half at that end and under three and a half at that end. So we're not quite where we need to be. And obviously this will just take a little bit of trial and error several minutes later. Okay, so after several attempts of getting it right, it is now level. The next thing that we're gonna do is adjust the counterweight. Needle on the cradle, stick this on and screw it up. Now to set it, we need to first make the tone arm just sort of hang freely. Keep bringing this back. So that's too much. Go back a little bit. So now that that's set, the tone arm's sort of drifted in no man's land. It's not on the back and it's not sitting in the cradle. Without adjusting the actual weight, there's a little bit of the front of the weight which sort of gives you the, the visual representation of how much weight's on there. And while it's in that free place, we need to set that to zero so that we can then adjust the weight correctly. The recommended weight for Autophon, which is what we use in the Mark II DJ, is between two and four grams of tracking force weight. You'll find that most DJs who are using Autophon set it to something like three and a half, which is what we're gonna do now. It's what I use at home and it, it, it works just fine. So then once that's set to zero on the front, we can move the fingers back and then we can adjust the actual weight. And then bring that in, half a gram, one gram, one and a half, two. Keep going until you get to three and a half. Um, I mean, you find if it's not tracking completely correct, then you, you've got a little bit of freedom to go to four because that's what they recommend. You shouldn't need to, but you know, then let's put it to the groove. Should be set up nice and perfectly. So now when you're queuing or when you're spinning in or spinning back, that should just sit perfectly. And that's that. Uh, so there you have it, that's how you set up the height and the weight of a cartridge for optimum use for DJing. It might be different if you're just listening on your hi-fi, so don't judge me for that. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. <laughs>